just on my way home from work. I just finished my first shift. I work at a restaurant, so I um, worked lunch, and it's 2.30 right now, um, and I also work dinner tonight. So I have to be back at work for 5.15. So it's 2.30, and I still have to eat my pre-workout meal and train legs, and then shower and get ready <laughs> for work. So this is kind of when my days get super, super hectic. I'm constantly on the move. And because I'm a server, I'm just running around all the time. Um, so that's why this prep, I'm actually quite happy that I don't have a lot of cardio because I'm already doing cardio at work. Um, so I'll see how this goes. Most of the time, like my manager always makes fun of me and says, well, you're late every time, but this is why. This is because this is how my life is. Um, sometimes like people will tell me they're like, just go train after work. For me, I can't do that because I never know when my shift is done. Like, because I work at a restaurant, I never know if I'm gonna be out of there at like midnight or 1 a.m. And then the next day I have to, you know, get up and do my reg regular routine. Um, so it kind of just like fucks with my sleep a little bit and uh, my sleep's already messed up as it is. So can't be doing that. So I try to train in between. If it is like a trash workout and I don't get to finish everything, then I'll go back and maybe do, like finish off the rest of the exercises after work if I can. I don't really take pre-workout that late, um, but during the day I need it and it really helps me. So let's see how today goes. Just tried to scarf down my pre-workout meal as quickly as I could. Um, I got it down in like five minutes. That's definitely the quickest I've ever um, eaten that meal just because it's one of my favorite meals. So I kind of like to take advantage of it. In case you guys wanted to know what heaven looks like, can't wait to eat this meal every single day um but on a day like this it's just not not an option unfortunately don't mind my clothes here um those are just my shirts that I'm trying to organize right now my closet is like a disaster so don't look at that this year is very different for me um I'm training with John Meadows um if I didn't say that in my last video um and my plan is different every day or every week in terms of my training so my training is never ever the same every week so it kind of keeps me on my toes okay so today i have um glutes slash legs with shoulders abs and calves so i've got nine exercises total and 34 sets total um i did my cardio yesterday i'm only on two sessions of cardio a week of 20 minutes um, I did that yesterday because Sundays are my off days and I just feel weird when I don't go to the gym at all. So, but I actually, I did, um, cardio here at home. I got a treadmill this year cause I knew I'd most likely be on a decent amount of cardio, but I'm actually not on a lot. Um, so I did that already. So I'm not going to be doing cardio today. Um, most likely going to be doing it tomorrow morning. Um, I like to do it on an upper body day, um, either fasted or post-workout, depending on how my sleep goes. Like I said, my sleep is really, really bad recently. Um, I don't really know why. It just kind of happens to me um, every in like blocks, like every once in a while. So yeah, I'm hoping my sleep goes okay tonight. Um, like I said, it depends on how busy the restaurant gets. All right, guys, so I wasn't able to film my breakfast or my meal one, um, but this is meal two, which is uh, one cup of zucchini, half a cup of white rice, and four ounces of tuna. It is June 16th, I wanna say. I am currently seven weeks out of the Natural Pro Qualifier. Just about to take my pre-workout. So I've got the Granite High Stim. These are brand new. If you guys wanna check these out, um, you are able to get them online now um, and I have a discount code for that and I will we'll, uh, link it in the description box below. Um, so I'm going to be doing cherry lime flavor today. We also have it in Blue Crush, but I'm feeling more cherry lime today. So that's going to be down the hatch real soon. And then uh, intro workout right now, we were doing aminos before, but we just switched over to the intro keto. Um, this flavor is fruit burst. Absolutely love this stuff. Okay, why not, right?
So since it is Saturday, the gym that I usually go to um, actually closes a little bit earlier. It's actually 24 hours um, during the week. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head to uh, Olympia Muscle and Fitness probably today. Um, when I'm on prep, I like to change it up. I don't like to go to the same gym all the time. Uh, why? Maybe because everything else when you're prepping is the same. So my diet's the same every day. Uh, you know, I'm training really hard every day. So even like the slightest change in a routine really, really helps. So I'm probably gonna head there today. I know I can film there. Uh, other gyms don't allow me like Good Life. They are a little bit iffy about it. Um, and uh, I like to go to gyms that have just like a good vibe in general. There's a lot of competitors that are there. Um, if not people who, you know, are really serious about their goals and they just are really focused on their training. And uh, I like to be surrounded by that as much as I can. So head there today. Um, because I'm seven weeks out, I feel as if sometimes, like, you just, you want the workout to go well, but it just doesn't work out that way sometimes. So, I'm just kind of feeling a little bit tired. Pump isn't really there today, um, but that's just the name of the game. You have to just keep pushing no matter what, get it done. Um, so that's exactly what I'm trying to do. Um, regardless, uh, I'm just, just trying to keep my eye on the prize and not really think about... Um, I think about how trash my workouts can be. Um, it's all a mental game sometimes, so as long as you can um, trick yourself into not thinking about that too much and just thinking about the end goal, um, that's how you'll go far and that's how I've been able to kind of push through all my preps. I'm fuller than I normally am. I'm usually pretty small. Um, main thing with me is we want to keep on as much size as we can. Uh, tend to shrink a lot. I was like 100 pounds on stage last year, and I'm 114.4 this morning. So, um, yeah. So workouts, all right. Not anything amazing. Definitely had better workouts before. All right. Well, that was probably one of the worst workouts I've had in a while. So I actually have vertigo, and I've struggled with vertigo for maybe like two years now. Um, sometimes it gets bad near the end of my prep. I don't know why, um, but it was pretty bad today, so I felt really, really nauseous. Um, but it's pretty late. I usually don't train this late, uh, but I gotta go to the grocery store and get some foods, because I'm out. So I'm gonna do that right now. Right now. If it's not closed. All right. Go we'll get some spring mix. I got salads laid out. God damn, it's expensive here. Are you really on prep if you don't go buy the cakes? Man, I love this this cake right here. If you haven't had this before, you're fucking missing out on a lot. Seven more weeks and then 12 more weeks. So post-workout is some steak. I didn't have enough steak, so I put <laughs> turkey. Um, and then five ounces of white potato or sweet potato, and then four spears of asparagus. So I'm gonna eat this, I'm starving. 
Um, the gym that I went to is a little bit further than my normal gym, so I'm very hungry. And I had to go to the grocery store, obviously. So, now. Hey. meal here is um, four ounces of turkey, some zucchini, a little bit of mushrooms, half a tablespoon of coconut oil, and then also I'm going to be putting that on top of a salad um, with one ounce of avocado. So I'll show you what that looks like in just one minute. All right, this is the end product. I'm very excited to eat this. It's one of my favorite meals, actually. Honestly, all of my meals are my favorite because like I love food, food is life, but um, prep brain, I don't even know what I'm saying. But this is actually, shockingly enough, one of my highest calorie meals. Um, I think it's just because it's got the coconut oil, the avocado, and um, it's just really high in fat. Um, so I really, really like this meal. I just like how I prepare it. Um, just tastes really good. The dressing, I just put um, balsamic vinegar and I mix it with a little bit of apple cider vinegar and then I put Himalayan pink sea salt on there. Um, just with the coconut oil, it's really, really good. Um, and then the mushrooms and my zucchini, if you kind of take a look at it, I actually like shred it in like really thin pieces. Just adds good texture and texture is actually massive with prep because you're eating the same thing all the time. It's not really like you don't really look for, sometimes you don't really look for flavor in food. You're just kind of more, going more towards texture. So I'm going to enjoy this like I always do. And then um, show you guys my other meal. I kind of switched the timing of them um, because I realized I didn't have any protein cooked. So I got to wait for that to cook. And then I'm eating this one in the meantime. So this is technically supposed to be my last meal, my meal six. Um, but I'm going to switch the two. Guys, I'm gonna reveal to you my favorite meal of the day. Nat. So this is supposed to be um, four ounces of turkey or chicken with half a cup of spinach. That's what's hiding under there. Um, but I didn't have any uh, chicken left, so I decided to do fish and throw a little bit of zucchini in there. Um, this meal used to be um, like pistachios or almonds um, with a protein shake uh, but closer we get we just recently changed this one so not the biggest fan of this at the moment because it's very boring but gotta get it in so 